Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Halloween is knocking into our doors and you may be involved in the spooky season sometimes even against your will because you see all of those amazing decorations outside and the horror movies are playing in the cinemas and you are watching my top horror movies of 2024 right now. So long story short i will start immediately from the first horror movie recommendation the substance the satirical body horror film of 2024. the substance is featuring demi moore who is playing a celebrity whose fame is fading away and she is using a very weird medication to create a better and new version younger version of herself. If you are a fan of body horror, this movie will be a great way to spend time. Practical effects were incredibly good and I love the parody and the social message that they are implementing in the plot. Also visually, the movie is very beautiful, so I highly recommend you to check it out. The next movie is Late Night with the Devil. Technically, it was uh, filmed in 2023, but it was th th theatrically. Theatrically. The next movie is Late Night with the Devil. Technically, this movie is of 2023, but theatrically, it was released in the United States in 2024. So let's pretend it's a movie of 2024. I absolutely loved every minute of it. It tells us a story about an unprecedented event that happened during the live broadcast of the late night show. And I just want to say without any spoilers that the location and the vibe of this movie deserve an additional praise. I personally enjoy it very, very much. It's about devilish um, possession type of horror, so highly recommend you to check it. The last two movies take really special place in my heart. The first one is Horror Thriller. It's so hard to pronounce it. Horror Thriller Long Legs. You know, somehow I feel like you all heard about this movie. Oh, this is such an amazing movie. It is such, it has such a moody vibe. Uh, and it mixes the occultism and satanic worshipping and crime investigation in the one movie. I personally adore horror movies where uh, the crime investigation takes place and you see the detective and the team who are investigated the crime and it leads them to the uh, revelation that there is some kind of mystery. I personally I'm a big fan of such movies, and if you are also a fan of such movies, I highly recommend you to check Long Legs. The pacing of the movie is a little bit slow, but if you do not mind slower storytelling, if you do not mind slow burners, this movie is an amazing immersion into moody and uncanny investigation of the satanic crime. Satanic crime. Why I am saying satanic crime with a smile, like satanic crime? <laughs> oh my god, I just love long legs. I was uh, very, very impressed with this movie. The last movie in my list, The Terrifier 3. Well, at this point, I have to make a disclaimer. If you do not stand gore in the horror movies, Terrifier 3 is not for you. It is a very, very gory movie. Now I will tell you a little prehistory. I actually never liked slashers. I always felt like this is the least interesting subgenre for me. I never liked the fact that majority of slashers are very poorly made. Um, the characters are, in majority of cases, very plain. Their uh, special effects are very poorly made. And the plot, it, sometimes there is just an absence of plot. And at the end of the day, it's so hard to sympathize with the characters because you just do not care about them because of how poorly majority of slashers are made. And the same with antagonists in such movies. You just do not care. You're not impressed, you are not scared. And I must confess to you that 
in majority of cases, I felt very, very bored during watching Slasher's movie. And now I give you my permission to throw Rotten Tomatoes in me because I never liked the iconic slashers such as Halloween or Friday the 13th. I acknowledge that those franchises are amazing and they are... Uh, many people love them and I do not say that they are bad, I just personally never liked them because I never was able to understand why they are scary. When I was small, Friday the 13th uh, scared me a little bit because of that sound. And the suspense and this sound really scared me when I was very small. But when I grew up, the franchise just doesn't impress me or doesn't scare me at all. The Terrifier franchise is the first slasher in my life that I felt in love with. And it is extremely brutal, it is extremely gory. I myself watch this movie like this. I really, I feel hard times to watch certain scenes and some scenes I even skip because of how brutal it is. But there are so many things that you can love this franchise for. I must admit that this franchise scares the shit out of me. This is the first slashers that really, really scare me very much. Some people say that a Terrifier franchise lacks plot. I personally do not agree with it, but it's a personal preference. I'm okay with that. I will definitely rewatch this franchise many, many times. I'm personally surprised that in modern times people created a totally new antagonist that will become iconic. Uh, Art the Clown will definitely become iconic. Uh, and I usually love to buy posters of my favorite movies. You can see them behind me and I will definitely buy the Terrifier poster. So when it comes to Terrifier 3, which was released in 2024, um, if you never watched the Terrifier franchise, I highly recommend you to start from the first movie because this is how you get acquainted with the antagonist, with the Art the Clown, who is the main killer in the franchise. And you can uh, learn about and you can learn a little bit about his lore. The third movie is extremely scary. The second one is extremely scary as well. Jesus Christ. The first one is the least scary from all of three. So it will be easier for you to start from the first one. But again, if you are not fan of gory movies, do not do it at all, at any cost. So I hope my list of horror movies was interesting for you. If you haven't seen some of them, I highly recommend you to check them out. Uh, and I wish you to have an amazing spooky season. If you're wondering why I am uh, just waving with my magic wand, because I just like to do that. And it doesn't relate to the video at all. See you very, very soon.